Hey you guys, in this lesson we're going to show you how to draw a really cute elephant that flies. What's his name? Dumbo. Dumbo. You ready? Yes. What do we need? A marker, some paper, and something to color with. Alright, let's get started. We're first going to draw Dumbo's eyes. We're going to draw two little circles right next to each other. Well, kind of next to each other. Yeah. Then we're going to draw a little circle in the top of those bigger circles. This is for the highlight, so his eyes look shiny. And we're gonna color in the big circles, but leave those little ones white. Then we're gonna draw his nose. We're gonna start right here, and we're gonna draw an S line. It's gonna come down, up, and then back down. Down, up, and back down. <laughs> Good job. Now we're gonna draw the end of his nose right here. We're gonna draw a little backward C shape. Yeah, and then inside we could draw the number six for the inside of his nose. Now let's draw the rest of his nose. We're going to start right here, and we're going to draw a, another S line that comes back like this. And look, I got a little thicker as I got towards his face. Yeah, good. Now we can draw right here, let's draw two little wrinkles on top of his nose. And let's also draw his mouth. We're going to draw a little U shape underneath his nose. We can also draw his tongue inside. And then let's also draw, let's draw the bottom of his lip right there. <laughs> He's looking really cute. Now let's draw his head. We're going to draw an upside down U. We're going to start right here and we're going to draw an upside down U like that. <laughs> there you go. Then we can draw his little cheeks and I'm going to draw a cheek that comes out like this and then it's going to come in and connect to his little lip. And then we can do the same thing on the other side except we're going to start here at his lip and come over here and then curve in to his nose. All right, good job Hadley. Now right here let's draw two little wrinkles over each eye. <laughs> Yay! Now we're going to leave his ears for the very end. Let's come down here and draw his body. But first, let's draw his little clown collar that goes around his, his neck. So we're going to start over here and we're going to draw two little lines that come out on each side. And then we're going to draw a wiggly line that connects over to the other side. Then let's add another wiggly line right next to that one. It's matching the wiggly. Yeah, yeah, draw the same wiggly. Okay, and then we're gonna do one more on top of that one to match just like all of the other ones. There's a little yellow stripe on his collar. Good, now let's draw his body. And we're gonna draw him sitting down. So let's draw one line coming down like this and another line coming down over here. We'll come down to the same spot. Good. Okay, now let's draw the bottom of his feet. We're going to draw a little curve. It's going to come around like this and then back up. Yeah. Now on this side, it's going to be overlapping behind, so we're going to draw another curve like that that connects. This foot is behind the other one. Good. Now let's draw his little toes. We're going to draw three little bumps. One, two, three his little toes on the bottom of his feet. Yeah, and then we could add three little toes over here also. <laughs> okay, now right here, let's draw a little line coming up and a little line coming up over here. A V, it looks like the letter V. Now we're gonna draw his back legs and they're sticking out to the side. So we're gonna draw an oval right here and an oval over here that matches and they're both pointing out. There. Yeah, and one on the other side. There. Good. All right, now we're going to draw a little curve that comes down on each side. That's the top of his foot. Then we're going to come down here and draw the bottom of his leg going in to his front legs. One. Two. Two. There you go. Now let's draw his knees. We're going to draw a little knee right here 
and a little knee over here on this side. Baby knees. Yeah, baby knees. And then we can draw his body lying going in on each side. He's got little wrinkly knees. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's come down here and we'll add those little toes. I'm just gonna add one little toe right here on the side of his foot. Yeah, two little bumps, I like it. Okay, Hadley, we did it. We finished his head and his body, but we need to draw something big coming out of his head. His ears. Yeah, his big flying ears. Okay, we're gonna start right here and we're gonna draw an S line. It's gonna come down up a little bit, and then back down. Yeah, and then back down some more. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> All right, and then we can draw a little line. We're gonna draw a little line coming in like this, and then down and connect to his feet. I like how his ears kinda of look, they look like wings. And then let's come back up here, and we're gonna draw another line inside of his ear. It comes like this. And look, right at the end, I get close and touch. So it's thicker over here and then thinner down here. Okay, now let's repeat those same steps over here on the left side. We're gonna come down and then down some more. Oh, I'm gonna come down even more. I'm getting close to the edge of the paper, running out of room. Look, <laughs> you can do it, keep going. And then down. And then we're gonna draw that this curve right here. So we're gonna come in down and then connect to his foot. Then we're gonna draw the inside line. So we'll start here and then as we get closer to the end, we're gonna get closer to the outside of his ear. Yeah, all right, we gotta do one last thing. What is it? His hat. His hat. Yeah, let's draw two lines sticking out of his head. I'm gonna draw it off to the side. And then we can connect those lines. Then let's draw the top of his hat. We're gonna draw a curve that comes up like this, and then it's gonna bend down. And then we're gonna curve back in. <laughs> and then we're gonna connect it. Hadley, we did it, we finished drawing Dumbo and he turned out perfect. Except we still need to do one last thing, what is it? Color it. Yeah, we need to color him. This part we're gonna fast forward, but at the end you guys can pause it to match the same color. Hadley, great job on coloring Dumbo. He turned out so cute, I love him. I especially love his little front legs <laughs> and his hat. Now you guys can pause the video right now to match the same coloring. We used gray to color his main body. I also used a darker gray to add a little shadow underneath his collar to make him look more 3D. But you can leave that part off to keep the lesson a little easier. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing Dumbo. Yeah, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! Bye -bye.